So now let's understand the constructor function. Basically, constructor is a special type of class function that starts with double underscore and if you people remember yesterday we have discussed that function can be declared uh, it can start either with underscore or with the alphabet but it cannot start with a number so constructor is basically a function that starts with underscore basically with two underscores so underscore underscore construct is a function that is a special kind of class function that is automatically called for example here we are creating an object of pen class and as we create the object if there is a constructor method it will be called automatically you don't have to call this function like you are calling set price and get price that I will let you know practically let's first go through these points to define a constructor PHP provides a special function called underscore underscore construct we can pa pass any number of arguments to this function a function can also become a constructor if it is defined by the same name of the class. So two ways are there to define a constructor in a class. Basically we can have constructor like this function underscore underscore construct. So this is a constructor function that will be called automatically as we create the object of the class. We can see the example here print for example I'm printing this is constructor function for pen class so this is the construction function we can define this construction constructor function either by this particular keyword or simply we can give the same name as that the class is having Basically, this is this particular cl same class name constructor is from was used in previous version of PHP that was PHP 4, but now we basically use underscore underscore construct. We can use that, but that is now deprecated. We should not use the same name as of class constructor. We should create a constructor with underscore underscore construct. So now you see the change so let's have a break here that will make it more clear so here you can see I've simply written the constructor function I'm not calling it but with the object creation this function is automatically called so now I've simply given the function name and printing some value it is automatically printed I am I am not calling this function so this is the construct function that is defined in a class and that is called automatically. I think this is fine with everybody. Everybody is aware of constructor function now. For example, there is no constructor function. Now I'm having two functions. One is set price, one is get price. If I don't call this function I simply create the object of the class so now nothing will happen no function will be called neither set price will be called nor get price will be called because they are normal for class functions they will not be called until we call them with the object of the class for example if I set the price and then I get the price you can see the cost of pen is 20. Now, their normal member functions, I have to call them in order to use them. But there is a special kind of function in PHP that is called constructor function that there is no need to call this particular function. It will be set automatically. It will be called automatically. Now, I have defined this construct function. Now there is no need to call this function. Even if you don't call these two functions, you simply define the object and run the page, constructor function is called. Even if 
I'm not calling any other function or even the constructor function. So it is automatically called as we create the object. With the creation of the object, it is called. But if we don't create the object, then it will not be called. But as we create the object, it is called. Okay, why we use create for construct function? So constructor functions are basically when you create a class, there are some of something, some of the properties that we want to set by default. For example, if you create a class, you need some of the things for each class that should be that should be called by default when we create a function. For example, this print message itself. If I want to, or simply, what I can do. For example, I'm I'm having multiple class classes, and I want to know that which particular class is called. So in PHP, we can get the class name. There is a special variable in P, or I would say a class very a PHP variable that returns us the class name. So this simply underscore underscore class underscore underscore will return the class name. So here you can see it is returning pen, which is the name of the class. So it might be case that we are having more than one classes in a PHP application and with each object calling we want to know the name of the class that is called. So I'm just selling, telling you an, an example that this information should be returned by default or as soon as we create the object of the class. So we can also set some other, for example, if I don't have set price method, I'm already having, I'm only having get price method. So what I can do, in construct function even, we can set the price. So I will do dollar this price is equal to dollar price. So here now as our constructor is having an argument, if I am pass, passing arguments then I have to give basis to my class and have, pass, have to pass the value while creating the object. So constructor value, if you have to pass anything to our class, to our constructor, they, they will be passed while creating the object. So this way, again, we will be getting the value. Okay, we have to call this get price function because now I don't have set price function. So you will get the 10. So, in constructor, we can set some default values. That's why con constructor gets used. Is it clear, Nusrat, or still you are having some doubt? Here you can see price and color. In constructor function, by default, I want to pass price and color. So, I'm simply passing. I don't want to ignore them in at any cost. I simply want that if I call a class, some of the things should be set by default. So that's why we use construct for function for that. Is it clear Nusrat now? Okay, fine. Here you can see function pen rather than underscore underscore construct. I'm using the same name that is of class. So the both way we can define the constructor but as per the PHP 5 specification we should go with this because this is preferred over this as this is from the last versions of PHP.
so let's move to the next slide here again it is showing us an example of object creation how we can create an object and pass values for the constructor these values are basically for construct function I'm passing two values here you can see I'm passing two parameters to our constructor function so when I create the object of my class I have to pass values of those two parameters that are that I'm passing to my constructor function so here I get the output 100 and green because I'm calling function pen and I'm printing its values and I'm getting 100 and green 